Chris will have just other like relics of the time. Um, I would assume like a, I don't know, like buttons or pins were kind of popular. Yeah. So I'm assuming like something that maybe says Minden Whippets on it or Minden of some sort. I, I'm not, that would be my best guess. It's fairly heavy, but I don't know how heavy it is versus the box versus the content that's in it. Yeah. So you can hear some things as you kind of move it around, but that would be, that's going to be my best guess. Maybe some pins. Do you, think gonna, do you think there's going to be anything like museum quality in there? Oh gosh, yes. I think so. I think it's going to be things that you just haven't seen before. Yeah. Um, so you get, you yeah. think it will be museum quality? I think so. And you, we'll, we'll, when this is all said and done, we show it all to all the, uh, all the other schools mm-hmm. that we'll, uh, we'll have the historical society look at it and, and see what they want to put with the the things that they already have on there in their collection. All right, thank you. Yeah. Just go find people. So what do you think is going to be in this time capsule? Oh, I don't know. It's, uh, uh, I'm guessing newspapers, maybe uh, a picture or two of the staff. Um, I don't know. It's just going to be awesome. I, I can't wait to see. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to uh, trying to guess what will be in there. But I'm guessing newspapers and maybe uh, maybe a picture or two. I think it will be museum quality. It'll be fine. Uh, I hope so. Awesome. Thank you. How about these guys right down there in the front row? be some like museum quality I think there'll be some like museum quality stuff I have no idea it isn't uh, the reason I probably wouldn't answer that way is this isn't a great big box yeah so if it's museum quality it'd have to be something fairly small there might be some coins in there uh, maybe even if somebody was a stamp collector or some old stamps or probably things dealing more with the high school with the men school system yeah all right thank you yeah. <laughs> You think this will be museum quality? You think this stuff will be put in? That's why we're really in this. Yeah, yeah. As All right, thank you. Uh-huh. Keep working it, man.
think I can get it open. There's a spot that's a little, uh, a little tight. Obviously, the majority of the students getting out of class, uh, you know, out of my test, you know, right before spring break, that's all right, I guess. But thanks to the community uh, for coming out. Um, I don't know, I'm not really good at impromptu, uh, you know, type of things, and obviously this is probably the most impromptu thing uh, that we've had uh, in Menden, I'm assuming, for a while. Um, the best guess, at, and going through, just talking with people, that um, <clears throat> this was in the bottom, uh, be the northeast side of the, of the high school, uh, right, next, or right by the cornerstone there. So best guess, probably right around 1935, with, if occupancy of that building was in 1936. So two-story building, lots of brick, probably took a little bit of time to, to get into place and, and things like that. So with that being said, we did do a little bit of uh, and I promise I did not peek um, on this one, uh, which is making me a little nervous. Um, but uh, we did have, we did, so people weren't sitting here watching us hacksaw into a copper uh, box for 20 minutes. Um, you know, so we, we did a little prepping on this. So I've been prying on this a little bit just to see if I can get it open. So if I start sweating, uh, it's probably because I'm a little nervous along with not knowing what's inside. So. With no further ado, we'll get going. All right. I was asked the question, though, of course, um, what do we think it's going to be inside? Um, newspaper. Newspaper. Twinkies. Twinkies. That's a good one. Okay. Um, I can. I can't. I don't know if people will be able to see this or not. There's a writing or uh, a uh, marking in here. Algum, Egenberg, E N G, looks like B E R G, sheet metal. Okay. Carney, Nebraska, July 30th, 1936. So, um, Shows you what I know about when they put in uh, time capsules. All right, here we go. <laughs> well, there is another box. Okay, that is all. Oh, thank you, everybody. Right, we're done. Um, <laughs> okay, so here, I'm just going to start unfolding. Uh, all of this. Hold it now. Okay. I didn't know how much stuff would be in here, but here you go. The first one is the Lincoln Journal Star. People can read that. Uh, British subject slain in Spain. This is dated. It's torn. Looks like August of 1936. The other is a bigger newspaper. Oh, can you see that? Without reach. Okay. 
There we go. Yeah, the Omaha, the Omaha B News. Okay. Um, Monday, August 10th, 1936. Looks like the same, same news. Okay. This is to Mr. C.L. Jones, Superintendent of Schools. Um, looks like certificate of award for punctual and regular attendance. Uh, this would be minus some uh, in the group. Um, a report card. And then looks like, oh, a permit to enter school. Okay. Something that I don't think we have to deal with a whole lot, inoculation of diphtheria. <laughs> and parents and guardians had to sign that. Oh, and then um, a report card, a blank report card, um, which is good. I wouldn't be able to show it if it wasn't. Um, and then just, oh, then here... Registration form, weekly attendance, and announcements. Looks like there is a cabinet meeting Wednesday afternoon at 4 in room 12. And uh, there will be a GAA meeting in room L on Thursday. So, Mr. Yost, Ms. Thompson, candidate, um, and some of the other teachers that were... Right. And we'll have all this stuff on display too, you know, for people to take and look at at their, at their leisure. Uh, eighth grade promotion of exercises, Friday, May 29th, 1936. 2.30 elementary on Class of 1936 commencement. The senior class of 1936. Looks like commencement was on a Wednesday. May 27th. There you go. Let's go back to that. Um, <laughs> at 8 o'clock in the elementary auditorium. Something out of English class, treasured verses. Diploma, Gordon Jones, the Minden High, Bar the Barker, instead of the Whippets, okay, there you go. The Minden High Barker, this was May 26, 1936. Uh, looks like, oh, it says, so it's farewell to the old high school building. The, the picture right there at the top. Um, the inevitable flood time has caught its, in its surge and soon to uh, plunge into oblivion. This is a pioneer of education that we will be forgotten. So that, 
Can you bring him this way and I'll get a picture of him? Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Armatus Day football program, Minden versus Franklin. Well, uh, yeah. And then the uh, next game would be Holdridge versus Minden on Thanksgiving. Really? Oops. So this would have been, looks like 1935. So. <laughs> and they actually played football games on Thanksgiving Day. That's, that's interesting. Um, somebody, can somebody help me out? That was, okay, so this is the picture of the school. Just south of the school it was torn down. Just south of the school it was torn down. Okay. It faced gates, the same direction. Faced gates? Okay, all right. I believe the building in the background was there even while I went to school. Really? Yeah. Okay. That is pretty cool. The commencement, uh, it was commencement week. It looks like they had something from the 24th, let's look at this game, 24th, 26th, and 27th of class nights, class programs, and then the commencement on that Wednesday. And then we just start getting into some pictures of what they had for what it looked like in the classroom. Now, I, these are all pictures that were taken in front of the, or in the old high school. The high school that was, that was before. There we go. Um, let's see. Looks like the, I'm going to say, maybe the chair? Oh, there is writing on the back? Yep, writing on the back. High School Pep Club, 1935 and 1936. And the ones before that was the high school orchestra and the high school English room, 1935 to 1936. All right, this one, science lab. Thanks, Mr. Warner. Looks like, I think it says commercial room. If you can see in the background, those are all typewriters in the, in the background there. <laughs> Vocational agriculture room. It looks like. Maybe down in the basement. <laughs> um, farm shop is what it says. It looks like it might be. Uh, looks like some woodworking. Making some barrels looks like. <laughs> this is home economics room. And the band, high school band. I 
cannot, I can't read the name. Maybe the senator of the fourth, it said fourth uh, congressional congress, fourth district maybe. Does it start with a flush? <laughs> it looks. Oh, it's sealed. Just uh, the the curse of fun. <laughs> It's amazing. They can recognize the the signature on it. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is uh, basically the uh, the courthouse, and it looks like when they were getting ready for Christmas decorations back in 1935. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oops. Um, Carney County Rural Graduation Class 1936. At the time, I was told, and the county superintendent still, but, um, that there were 24 schools in the county, just the other class one schools, rural schools, and, and those types in, in Carney County alone at the time. So this just says a rural county uh, class. Okay. Minden Elementary School, eighth grade class, 1935, 1936. Oops. There we go. Doesn't look too different. Okay, so let's start getting into some of the other things that we're putting here. A little bit hard to read. Um, looks like maybe a picture of some sort. J. And there's a uh, the description on the back that, like I said, it's, it's pretty hard to read. Member of Company M. Uh, first, looks like Illinois Light Artillery, May 27, 1936. Graduated from Mendon. Read uh, with the Bracken, B R A C K E N. Bracken. Bracken, yep. And let's see here, veteran of the Civil War. Oops, there we go, sorry. I know. Activity taken. Good for one semester. Can you get it for a year? <laughs> one semester. Here we go. I think a lot of kids probably don't know what a telephone directory is. Um, <laughs> the telephone directory of Minden and Axtell of June 1936. Can you open your page where it shows the telephone directory? I don't like it. Yeah, it's pretty fine print, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, that's. We do not have records of addresses for people who rented in Minden. Right. But most everybody by that time had a telephone number. Right. So this becomes very important as a source for where people did live. Right. And on the E there, it says Edna Hotel. That started out as the Jensen Hotel. Then became the Humphrey Hotel and the Edna. And that Edna is the name of a woman. They used to have a restaurant there. Okay. Uh, 513 North Colorado is uh, northwest corner of the square. That was a three-story hotel. And the one story of it is still in that location. Wow. Right across the street from Joyce to the west. Okay. All right. Um, a popular car at the time, the Ford, 1936 Ford V8. There you go. I'm 
after a solid vehicle at the time. Had three windows. That was their. That was the big thing. The three. It just says. Um, we look to see. Yeah, Ford V8. There you go, sedan. That is great since it's been in the darkness for several decades. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, we've got a few more newspapers. We got a number, it looks like, from the Minden Courier. Um, see the weather. Well, this was in August 2nd, 1934. Looks like it was, looks like there was a high of 109. Ouch. <laughs> Politics on the front page. December 5th, 1935. Looks like somebody webs a Gothenburg girl. John Russell. I won't say anything about the sports for that particular day. Is that Roosevelt? That might be. That's Joel Hall. It's considered a founder of men's Okay. Yep. First to uh, visualize Tri County. That one? Yep. This was dated Thursday, October 3rd, 1935. And I'm trying to think, South Platte Bank rate. Um, and then the weapons played at home, and it looks like they faced Lexington on that particular week. Thursday, August 1st, 1935, talking about taxes and electors, probably getting ready for an election, new ruling in regard to old age pensions. And this, to celebrate at Fort Carney, looks like they invited the governor at that time. Oh, I need... Thank you. All right, here we go. This one, this one will interest the people here. Um, right here, you can see this was in July. It was July 18th, 1935. Wheat average bushel, 20 bushels. Wheat averages, 20 bushels. So. And Pat Cavanaugh has the best per acre yield reported to date. Oh, is it per? Oh, sorry. Um, I'm not sure. I should just pick up the exposure. Huh. Um, oh, there we go. And then we go back to the Omaha World Herald. It looks like the Hastings paper. Omaha World Herald. Um, August 10th, 1936. The Hastings Daily Tribune, Spanish Sea German Airplane. Uh, 
This was in, this is August 10th, 1936. Said Holland's Queen to. Then we just got some, uh, looks like some newspaper clippings. Um, Minden High School open half, or opens Monday, September 2nd. Those are different dates. High school for rural students, I think probably the time to consolidate the number of high schools that were in the area. <laughs> the Board of Education looks like board minutes. And uh, oops, who was all Who was all in attendance? Sorry, it folds over. In the high school at the time, in 1935-1936, the enrollment was 308. And then it has a breakdown of eighth graders, kindergartners, yeah, everybody in between. All right, well, here we go. Minden High School building erected in 1936. Building staked out January 15, 1936. First earth turn March 2nd, 1936. So that's when the, when the whole, looks like the whole process got started. The um, contract general work was Walter Kunzman? And son, Corny, Nebraska, for the amount of ninety-six thousand four hundred sixty-seven dollars to build the high school. That first paragraph comments government grant to PWA of fifty-eight thousand dollars. Yep. Cost of building and equipment one hundred thirty thousand dollars. Bonds voted by the district seventy-two thousand dollars. Government grant and PWA fifty-eight thousand. We have a few things. Uh, city officials amended at the time, 1935 to 1936. That was the council and the clerk and the attorney at the time. Every student is good. Do you want to just move that before? Do you want to just move that before it goes again? Yeah. County County officials at that time, county clerk, county judge, county sheriff. I'm assuming there'd be something on file for these types of things at the time. I'm not sure. Looks like a yearbook. The women, 1936. It's a little, I'm not going to try to open it. It's, it's a little tough right back here, so I don't want to rip anything. But um, just, there is something in here from the board. Of, looks like the Board of Education signed it um, back in, in 1935, 1936. But, and it just gives a rundown of faculty and, and people inside that. But like I said, it's, he doesn't want to open all the way, so I'll be careful with that. Okay. Newsweek, July 18, 1936. Some of the things. It's like going on at the time. 
Talks about the drought. <laughs> Ten cents. <laughs> Time was a little more expensive. It was 15 cents.
penny for nice, uh, 1935, best I can tell. On the penny. Yeah. Okay, this is the, uh, this is uh, LM, uh, LM Christensen. Uh, it says, nuts, you thought you'd find something besides a penny. Uh, <laughs> call me the next time you want the next school uh, house built. LM, J, or LM Christensen. So, <laughs> I'll have to give him a visit. <laughs> that was dated August 12, 1936. So did Knudsen build it and the other guy? Northeast corner of the high school, looks like, right here.
second floor. Buffalo Nickel. What is the name of that coin? It doesn't have one on it. Same guy, isn't it? What's that? That's the same. It's this guy, isn't it? No. No. Music of the time and how they how they ranked 
them at the time. These learn something? That, yeah, there was all of this. All of this was in this envelope here. So we got the great snow goalie in 19, uh, finished in 1926. That's a picture of me. And give it here just a minute. There we go. That's what the building looked like in 1926 when it was basically a year old. Also, there, the island is in the middle of the street there. Right. Yeah, I saw that corner. And this is kind of the, the decor around that. You know, it's changed a lot. The street's got wider. Um, the high school, the old high school, it says about 1900 is when it is. That's what it says at the bottom. Right? In 1899, year before the high school application yeah. started. <laughs> So that was built right where the previous high school had been. Yeah, because the old one had burned down. Yeah, the one before this had burned down just the year before, in 1899. Wow. And there was one graduate. One graduate? The first class had one female, had one graduate, and she was female. In 1888 or 1889. In 1888 or 1889. Yes. Wow. And then that's where they were So here's the Methodist Church here in Minden. The office of Minden. Uh, Sanitary Plumbing Company. There's a bunch of writing out here, like the post office. Myrtle uh, Peterson's Ready to Wear. Dan's Cafe, Nelson's Bakery. The dentist. It looks like hardware. LC Larson Hardware. We refer to the building on Dan as Kroll's building now. Kroll's building? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Those were in here, right? Yeah, they were all in. Yeah. They found this. Looks like they. Uh, just say, uh, yeah, we put some things, please present. There you go. This is dated August 12th. that opens the box. <laughs> yeah, to the person that opens the box. And this is, yeah. Uh, I walked into that one, yeah. And then just a few other postcards that were, were in there. The north side of the square. And the west side of the square.
and we'll get around to, to everybody if they have one an opportunity to come up and, and look at things. Uh, we'll just kind of get things picked up. Um, Sis, thank you for uh, coming and watching and uh, getting a little bit of history of Minden uh, and the process. Community, thank you for coming and looking at this. And, man, it's a lot of stuff. So, uh, thanks everybody. High school, go ahead and head back to class. And, uh,